Okay guys, so um, before this, uh, before I start, just want to say thank you so much for the submissions that you guys have put in. There's a lot of good work. Um, really like it, uh, especially this one. This one. Uh, I think he's exported this here or somewhere. Is it here? Yeah. I like this one. I got a thumbs up. <laughs> and this one as well. I like these planes. Okay, so. We, we left off with the wing box last time and what I've done is I tried making a I just tried playing around with this um, it's not good so actually what you have to do is um, first off what I did was, um, was unhide pretty much everything yeah I'm just gonna have to do that really quickly Actually, just do Alt H, so H to hide everything, and Alt H to unhide everything. So just delete this guy, and we did this bit. Um, I think we did the flaps as well. I don't know where my flaps went. Those last time I checked, they were there, but <laughs> they <laughs> they're gone now. I don't know why. Anyway, so what we're gonna do we're gonna hide the wings we can do that by clicking H or selecting these doors um, I don't know uh, wing box hide, tail hide and you guys are gonna be hidden as well I can delete them because I'm sick of them as well Okay, so um, now we're going to be making the engine. So to make the engine, it's the same concept as the fuselage. So again, mesh A cylinder and bring it here. Then we'll take this 90 degrees. Or uh, no, this 90 degrees. Um, scale this up and like this. Turn this on so we can have a good idea. And scales on the y axis, so something like this, something like that. Um, yeah, and then add loop cut, so control R, and just gonna zoom in so I have more idea. There's another trick where you can actually add quite a few of them, so like here, you can add like hundred which I don't know. Uh, right about nine. No, not even nine, that's too much. About four. Okay, good. Um it's gonna be the same here. Or you could just add them like that. It's your choice. Well I'll just do all this um select this and scale this down. Grab this and just kinda of put it here. Thing for these guys. Let's go and model this really quickly. Oh, oh, don't know. Okay, it's gonna be. Let's 
so I'm going to uh, um, this. So actually you can see how this has, these are kind of spiky, so to actually do these, what you could do, there's actually many ways, so what usually people do is, um, select, like, this bit and, like that, I'm uh, sure I actually one actually, like this and then like that, so it kind of creates a spike, but I'm not going to do that, I'm going to teach you a different way. So, yeah, um, go from times, bring this here, Position here. Oops. So I'm using so. I like that, okay. Um, oh, that is not good. So it's more than auto smooth here. Yeah, there's some issue here. I'm just gonna fix that very quickly. Oh, okay. This is um. Yeah, I made an oopsie. Yeah, a mistake. So just go on top. Um. And kind of just model this again. X-axis, I think. So, let's have a look here now. Okay, it looks okay. So, I'll just move this. It doesn't actually matter if you use it. Let me just unhide everything again, just to get a brief idea on how this is going to work. Um, okay, so if you think it's fine, in the front. Uh, front, okay, no, not that good. Yeah, I should just leave it for now like that. Just leave it that like that for now. What did I do? Okay, anything here? Here. Okay. Okay, so now we will be making the So like you can see how the engine is gonna hide everything again. Oh No, not my. <laughs> and unhide the blueprints. Okay, so you can see how it has. Oh no, this is. I'm actually just quickly. Yeah, that's fine. I'll fix the bottom bit. Actually, you guys might just do this one. Let's fix the bottom bit. So what I'm gonna. So you can see like um, this thing in the middle. That is actually the the place where we have to add the where we have to add the um, let's fix this up real quick. okay yeah where we have to add the how do I say this um like we have to extrude this bit so just click on faces and click here front face make sure it's the front face not any just make sure it is the front one 
and kind of scale this down. Oh, scale this down like that. Uh, let's position it like this. And then click here. Oh, and we can extrude this in like that. Um, so you have something like this. Turn all this move on because that helps now. Um, and then here, because it looks pretty sharp, so we scale this down as well. Come on, let's get this down. We could bevel this. Come on, maybe I'll bevel this. Um, something like this. Um, I know it doesn't look as good, but yeah, you guys could fix that. Just separate the bit inside. Uh, yeah, looks okay. Now it's pretty much left is to add this bit. Um, why is this always okay? I like this. Um, just add this bit. Um, you could actually add it as a cone, like add a cone and just sh model it again. But I don't really know actually. Okay, so yeah, we have this. Um, now we're gonna make the Oh, yeah. I'm going to make the rims, or actually, I'm just going to show it to you guys. This guy, these guys. So, to make them, hmm, what I could do, there's actually many ways I could make this. Uh, like that, kind of curvy. Yeah, you can see they're very curved. Um, the best way I could make this is to again insert a insert a cylinder. I'm just put it in the middle. So. Actually, you know what? I'll actually put it. I'll just end this part for now because I'm not feeling too well. But make sure to yeah, make sure to subscribe because. Well, I don't know, like, yeah, four subscribers of 50. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling too well, so I'll just make this in part. So this is part one. Save that. Um, looks okay, but yeah, I'll teach you how to do the rest next time. So yeah, um, make sure to subscribe and thanks so much for watching and best of luck with your with your planes.